Hi, I'm Deb with the Social Tech Team. Today in this training, I'm going to show you how to simply make a QR code that you can scan or your customer can scan, which will open up a Google form that they can fill out that you can access later as you gather their contact information. There's a lot of different tools that you can use, but for the sake of simplicity, I'm going to share with you two tools that I think you probably have some familiarity with. One is going to be Google Forms. The other will be Canva. Once you become more confident using these types of tools, there are some additional tools that we can bring into that conversation that will automate processes for you so that when they scan a code, a QR code, and fill out the form, it can then automatically populate your text marketing system or your email marketing funnels. But that's for another training. Today, let's just talk about building out the form and connecting it to a QR code. The first tool we're going to use is Google Forms. It's a free service that's available to you. Once you log into your Google account and go to Google Forms, you'll see at the top there are some templates already made and there's one right here for contact information. I can open this Google Form and customize this however I like. If we want to simply change the coloring of the form or perhaps add an image here at the top to bring in our own branding, click on the little palette here at the top that says customize theme and you'll see where we can change the header and the font and the font sizes along with the image which is this image right here. We can also change the colors they have some that are provided here or if you want to bring in a specific branding color click on the plus sign and add in the color or if you know your hex code you can add that in here. In this template this is the default information you can change the language here to sound a little bit more friendly simply by clicking on the line and replacing that text with whatever you would like for it to say. I would be sure to include a description as to why they're providing this information and what you plan to do with it. In this standard template, you have name, email, and mailing address as required field. If you want to turn those requirements off, simply click on the box and then at the bottom here where it says required, if it's on, you can turn it off or vice versa. If you plan to do any text marketing now or in the future, I would encourage you to click on this phone number box and set that as a required feature as well. When someone completes this form, you come back into the Google Forms and you can click on responses, find their responses, and you can download this into Excel or into Google Sheets and import that into whatever system you're working with. But let's get back to how we would connect this form to a QR code. On the top right of this screen, I can click on the purple box that says send. A box pops up and in the middle of the screen, you'll see the symbol for a link. Click on this link, highlight the link and copy it. Now let's pop over to Canva so we can build out the QR code. Here in Canva, I have a simple blank screen that I'm going to use to populate my QR code. This would be something I can print as a sticker that I can put on a catalog or an order form or any packaging that I'm mailing out. On the left side of my screen where it says apps, I'll enter in QR code. I don't even have to fill out the whole thing, but QR code generator. And you'll see a variety of different apps that Canva interfaces with for this service. Let's just click on this second one, QR code. And now it's asking to enter in the URL or the website of where someone will be directed if they scan that code. Remember, we grabbed this link off of our Google form. This is what we copied, and this is what we're going to paste right here. We can change the coloring on this particular type. Let's just make it red, generate the code, and now we have our QR code. We don't like that. We want to make this part white, the black part's white. Maybe we want to make this blue. Now it looks a little better. Because this is in Canva, we can either print this off that would have this white background, but why leave wasted space? I think it's always a great idea to give some instruction because you never know who's going to be looking at this code and they might be hesitant if they don't know what it is for. So if this is to be used, for example, at a vendor event or an in-person event, and you're using this to enter them into a drawing of sorts, I would add some text heading 
and give them some instruction. All right, so I've given them some excitement. They know that they can win a discount by opening their phone app, scanning the square, completing the form to be in the price drawing. The last thought I would like to leave you with when it comes to QR codes, QR codes are not something that you would post as a social media post or a digital post because most of your audience is going to be looking at that through the device, that same device that they would have to use to scan it. So it really wouldn't work that way. QR codes are ideal for anything that's a printed piece of material that you would be handing or showing to someone in person so that they can then use their mobile device and scan it. I hope that makes sense. Give it a try. Good luck. Let's go.